Welcome to my channel, this is CCNA Essentials. This channel aims to provide a comprehensive course on the most essential knowledge required for the CCNA certification. Today, I will be discussing two methods for enabling communication between VLANs, inter-VLAN routing. By default, when I have two PCs belonging to two different VLAN connected to the same switch, those two PCs won't be able to communicate with each other because they are on separate VLAN. The first method to enable communication between them is to have a router connected to a switch as illustrated in the diagram below. This is referred to as router on the stick. When connecting from the switch to the router, only a single physical port is used. Two virtual interface ports are created on this same physical port. One virtual interface connects to VLAN 100 and is assigned an IP within the VLAN 100 range. The second virtual interface connects to VLAN 200 and is assigned an IP within the VLAN 200 range to establish communication. For example, if a PC in VLAN 100 has the IP address 192.168.100.10/24, then the IP address of the first virtual interface on the router is 192.168.100.1/24. Similarly, if VLAN 200 has the IP address 192.168.200.10/24, then the IP address of the remaining virtual interface on the router is 192.168.200.1/24. When going from VLAN 100 to VLAN 200, the traffic has to pass through the router. This router performs routing functions, allowing it to route packets between VLA and S. It can forward packets from VLAN 100 to VLAN 200 and vice versa. This capability enables the router to transmit data between different VLA and S. On the other hand, switches typically don't have this routing functionality unless they are layer 3 switches, which will be introduced later in the video. Let's move on how to configure for this diagram. Initially, when PCs are connected to the switch, the ports are set to access mode. However, the port connecting to the router and allowing multiple VLANs to pass through is configured as trunk mode. This is the basic configuration on router on the stick diagram, you can pause the video to look at it. When entering the interface configuration mode, typing point 100 signifies that you are configuring the port for VLAN 100. Next, you would enter the command encapsulation.1q100, this command specifies that subinterface E0 slash 0.100 uses 802.1Q encapsulation with VLAN tag 100, and then assign an IP address to that interface. Similarly, you would follow the same procedure to configure the port for VLAN 200. Let's move on to method 2, using a switch to interconnect VLA and S. This type of switch will be more expensive than a layer 2 switch. It supports routing functionality, meaning it can transmit data between different IP ranges from various VLA and S. These switches are referred to as layer 3 switches. This is the configuration, you can pause the video to look at it. I won't set IP addresses for these two ports, I will set IP addresses on the VLA and S. IP routing, the IP routing command enables routing functionality on the switch. Without entering this command, VLANS won't be able to ping each other. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it interesting, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.